Now, how are you guys doing? I want to welcome you to another video here, another art video. In the last video, uh, in another video I made, I showed you how you can make uh, buildings like this. Okay, you can make brush brushes, so you can just paint on buildings. You just have to draw one building, and then you can use it as a brush, basically, and make some, you know, fairly good um, city scenes. You can mix them up and edit them and try and make some good work of it. Got to be careful sometimes because we get like perspective issues and stuff like that, you know. But you can really, really work to do some some good stuff. You know, if you're really smart, you can uh, cleverly work this stuff. You know, you can do it in the perspective. You know, you can play around with the perspective and all that. You can, like, change. Yeah, I never thought about that. I could do it this way too. You know, <laughs> or I could go there you can do certain things you know uh, here so you could get like some let's say if you was working on a comic maybe you could actually really really like put together some pretty detailed scenes like you might not want to draw all that many scenes and you want a quick simple background well hey you can go for a quick simple background it looks badass and got a lot of detail in it as well See how I just did this with this here, you see? Now I just make another layer behind it and just have some straight looking ones or whatever. I could even, even just flip those if I wanted to, like edit, where are we? Flip horizontally, oh, no. I wanted to just flip those ones, hold on. Hold on. Select my opacity, uh, transform, oh, hold on. Just drag the, drag the motherfucker out. I'm gonna drag it as well, make it longer as well, you see? Make that smaller even, hold on. In a moment, I'll do that. Hold on. So deselect. Bam. Transform. Make that smaller. Make a few of them. You know what I mean? And you could really come up with some cool stuff. You could make a duplicate of that even. Bring that up there. I don't know. Just get care. Just be clever how you do it. And just make this big scene up. <laughs> you know. Until you've got some cool stuff going, you know duplicate of that I'm just having some fun here what I'm going to show you in the moment though is I'm going to show you something else okay yeah you see I'm doing that here and now I'm going to show you something I'm going to show you how we can work buildings that don't have problems with the perspective the artifacts all right I'm going to go below behind here okay now hold on There's some uh, smaller ones I'm just going to let me hold on yeah okay good We're getting some different sizes in so we get some uh, different stuff going on. And I'll show you in a moment. Okay, so I've got to bring some of that. Oh, you see, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm talking about, but you know, yeah. Bang. Let's merge all that down. I'm going to bring that a little bit lighter. So I'm just showing you a little bit about what I'm talking about before we work on it. I'm just playing with some of the darkness and lightness of some of the things here. I'm just showing you that, you know, bring down the darkness and the what the ones closer to us are gonna be darker see so you can see that. Yeah and it's just all coming together basically. Uh, I don't really like to play around with the opacities too much, like the transparency. I like to just play with the brightness because that's just, that's the best way to do it. And then that way you can you don't have to worry about anything being seen through it in the background. From here, I could like have another brush. Let's say, just get some fun, crazy ones, just quickly. Paint splats or whatever. Uh, what we got here? Hold on. I'll just choose a white or something. Make another layer. You know, oh, that's black or whatever. Though, you know, change it a little bit. You know, it just gives it some. Um, I turn the uh, foreground color on. Yeah, that's it. You know, you can get some different effects. You see there. Um, yeah, some of that sky, you see, that's what I'm trying to say, see. Play around with that, see, it's just bloody cool, you know, excuse my language. Bloody cool. <laughs> so, uh, you know, okay, I'm going to merge that down, okay, hold on. Oh, I'm going to merge, this one can be merged down to that. This one can be played with a little bit like that, I think. I don't need to be too dark, okay, like this, okay, a little bit darker. Merge that down. Just showing you how we create some pictures first of all. Okay, get some more on buildings. This is basically 
not more on buildings, more on buildings. <laughs> now I'm going to make a duplicate of that, play with the cove turn, bring this one at uh, tone curve, sorry, <laughs> cove turn. I'm going to bring that down. Now I'm going to go to a soft eraser, or we can go to an airbrush, or a spray brush as I call them, and then go uh, turn it into a, an eraser version of itself. You can do that in this, like in a lot of software, as Critter can do this too, where you can turn it into an eraser version of the brush by just flipping that switch there. I'm just erasing like, some of the area here, working with the opacity and stuff there. Does this give different areas of light and dark? And it like makes it like kind of gets darker closer towards us. It kind of gives more detail like to it. I haven't gone with any color in this one. Oh, excuse me. In this one, so I think it's pretty cool as it is though. Um, and we're just literally again just using one building and manipulating. That's all I've done in this one. So I could do like a slightly blue color if I wanted to, and make it like a light evening. And I could like start to do rain pouring down, or to make it like a rainy evening in the city or something, you know. Okay, I think that sky could have had a bit more contrast. It would have been better for the clouds. But I'm gonna save this here as an image. Okay, we just checked out, and I'll show you something else. If you hold up one second. <coughs> Okay, so there's the other one I did before, this night one, as I showed you before, this night one. And now we've got this here, we've got, I just, just did, okay, so put it out there. And there's your picture, okay. Sorry, it's got a timer on it, so I just have to show you like that. And there you go, you know. Um, imagine being there. <laughs> it really, really has a feel to it. It's just amazing. You can just draw these one little build, draw a building and then just blast it all over the place. It's just, I mean, you can make forests, you can make anything. Okay, let's just um, go into this and I'll show you something, if I can. If, if I do need to stop the video, I'll have to stop it right just suddenly. Sorry, guys, but we'll get we'll get back to you. So what we're going to do now is uh, something else. Um, I'm going to show you something here. Okay, I'm going to really show you something here. Now, I'm going to make a black square using the black pen. Okay, or just choosing the square. Make a, a tall one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, uh, shall I do that? There's a couple of ways we can do this. Let's say we want a really tall building, alright? Mm, let me think about that. Let me think about that indeed. Let me think about that indeed. Yeah, that does make sense. I guess I'm gonna, oh, there's many ways you can do this. Um, I guess I should have used white, really, shouldn't I? Because we're going to be doing white. Okay, let's do it. It's a taller building. Let's imagine it's a taller building, right? The kind of building that we're not going to have too much fuss with perspective wise because you're going to see different perspective and stuff. Now, I'm not going to do any of the sides of it. Right? Right. <laughs> Alrighty then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to. Uh, let me think. Another layer. I'm going to go to clipping above this, okay? Choose black pen and just do what I usually do doing windows for this one uh, let me think about this for this one I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'll do the outline as well I don't have to do this but I'm gonna do the outline as well now one good feature this has got this software okay it's got a feature where you can hold uh, what is it uh, shift down it just makes a straight line see I don't usually use it a lot because I'm just trying to like go rough and like I used to use it a lot but now I'm trying to go like more freehand as you can see that's why my straight lines look crap <laughs> but if I wanted to do lines I could just do this see just go across straight like straight lines perfect almost perfect or even better choose this straight line ruler thing and just go straight away across like that see and uh, for this video I'll probably do this just to show you just for quickness okay uh, I would usually just, you know, do it freehand, as you know, just drawing. Okay, um, yeah. Um, is it me or are they looking weird? I don't know, something about them looks weird, but... Okay, hold on. Mm, how many got? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've got four, four floors, windows-wise. Uh, now, what we can do is we can do, like, windows as well. Um... There's different ways I could do this with masks and stuff, but I'm gonna just go to turn it off and just do it my usual way. I'm gonna I'm gonna merge them down as one layer now. Okay, I've worked it down as one layer. 
So this is like one thing, okay? It's just one side. We're just seeing the front, aren't we? That's all we're seeing, right? Um, in fact, I want to do this more quicker, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to. Well, the problem is they're different sizes, so we're going to have to just do it in one. I was, I was going to copy and paste it, like the different layers for well, the windows are actually different sizes. Now we can copy and paste whole anything, like layers and stuff, to make you know uh, more better stuff. You can see my lines aren't even properly straight. I'm kind of doing this a bit messy, okay? But I'm just trying to work something here. I'm just trying to do something. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to try and do something here and then see how it works. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some. Um, I'm going to go to protect alpha, and I'm going to like so the lines don't paint on the outside. If I go over the lines, it's just going to work within this. Do some variations, as I said before, like you know, doing some variations and stuff on different things here. You know, just trying to. give it some variations you can do like angled um, like blinds and stuff and things like that too if you want to see and some dark areas in in there as well and just different things you know I'm just gonna do this here I don't know if this thing's even gonna be of any use to be honest with you this is like a really looks kind of run down this building don't you, if you ask me <laughs> okay but that's that okay that's how rough thing we got there I'm going to duplicate that. Oh no, uh, before we do that, I'm going to just give some little markers and things, okay, like lines across it and like make it look a bit rough, you know. Just, like, just making it look rough, looking like, you know, some cracks and like lines and artifacts, things like that, you know. Even put some graffiti on it if you want. The only thing is with graffiti and stuff, you might want to have. I'm just doing some scribbles here, just making my own language up. <laughs> Can put real letters and numbers if you want but the thing is i'm saying like the only thing with graffiti or even any of the artifacts is like you're gonna maybe have like copies and stuff you know so you don't really want that you want to do it all new and fresh make all different kinds of buildings like a lot of buildings look the same but there's got to be differences and stuff i'm going to duplicate this object and i'm going to make a darker one as i showed you before bring that down below that layer okay now i'm going to erase the window areas just really quickly Going across that same way. Okay, going straight across. We've got more floors this time. You can see that it could even be more floors even if we wanted to. But what I'm doing is I'm literally um, I'm just working with one image basically. Here you can see that, and this could be really handy. So it's not a brush yet. It's not actually an actual brush yet. Okay, is one thing I want to say. Um, I'm going to bring this darker one slightly darker just so we can see that a bit better, okay, there. Uh, I'm going to merge this down with that, okay. Then I'm going to go onto a white brush, a white pen, just do a few shines. I'm going to leave it on Protect Alpha, good. Just do a few little shines here and there on the windows and stuff, you know, to bring out that, that detail. You know, to bring it, bring it to life, you know what I mean? You know. And you can do other things, as I say. I mean, you could go on here and just do some extra, like, shading and stuff if you really wanted to, you know. But I'll show you really, really quickly. If I duplicate this again and make a darker one still, bring that below, and I can go on top with an eraser, like, to a medium opacity kind of eraser, or two-thirds opacity, and then just, like, or three-thirds opacity, and then... Start just doing like rough areas you see everywhere, like here, just giving it some more shade. I don't know if you can see that. Like, you don't have to go over the top, but like extra things, it just gives it some more. Well, you can even use like rough, like texture brushes and stuff too, and put some like, artifacts on top if you wanted to, too. But that's that. Now we're going to merge these down. I'm not going to go too crazy, we just merge them down. So, merging that down, this is one thing now, okay? This is one thing. And I'm going to give this layer a name, just two, 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 whatever. So we know this is our backup one. And I'm going to go and put it to the side for a moment. We're not going to use it for a moment. Now I'm going to make another layer just above the background layer, but, but uh, below this building layer. And I'm going to basically make some um, random uh, white shapes. I could make uh, black ones, but I'm going to make white, okay? Um, just a few 
basically a few blocks. Okay, I'm going to make a few real like random ones. Okay, like this maybe. Um, yeah. Okay, it's basically like that. Okay, like that. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look much like much right now. Okay, does it? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the pen, and I'm going to just choose an eraser and make it full opacity, and start. I've got to decide what um, angle I want it to be on. So. You know, I could make it that angle, like we're looking down on them. That's another way we could do it. Mm, let me think. Should we do that? Shall we do that? That's an idea. Um, it comes across there. Yeah, I think we can do that. Just, just be, just be daring and do that, shall we? We'll be daring and do it. But you've got to make sure you know the angles of what you've got to try and follow some perspective. If you understand what I'm saying. Um. Hmm. It may end up looking strange. I mean, this could be actually still facing up, I'm thinking. So, let me check that out. Okay. Yeah, we're looking up at it, okay? Depends how you're looking at it. You could be imagining looking down or looking up. So, we imagine that we're looking up. Okay, I've changed it. Okay, we're looking up now. We're not looking down, okay? And there are other buildings in front we can imagine too. Okay, I'm just going to imagine those buildings in front. Um, yeah. So, let's, what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to make duplicates of this number two layer. That's what I'll do. So I'm going to move one of these duplicates to this layer, and I'm going to choose, it's got to be the one below, okay, below, choose clipping, okay, hold on, hold on, <laughs> if I'm not, not going to mess this up, hold on, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh there it is, it's the wrong one, <laughs> it was the wrong layer, okay, this is the one, turn off clipping for that, so clipping for this, and I'm going to move it into place, and it's a simple case of um, readjusting it in the setting and under fill, uh, select and transform. And if you want to change the angle of this thing, you simply uh, use a, you press control and then hold the angles and turn the angles. You see. So going here, I can literally make this even smaller if I want to. So you go over there and just try to imagine zooming in here. You know, to fill in, you've got to make sure you get the right kind of like sizes and stuff, like all the way around, obviously. You see what we're getting, getting there already, right? So we're getting that. And you can basically just try and make duplicates all the way around the building. But you must keep a spare one always that's untouched, okay, for so that you can make duplicates of that. Because it won't help you to make duplicates of this one that I've just edited already, because the angle's wrong. It'll be very, very hard to adjust. So we've got this here. Let me just see what I'm doing here. Hold on. Ugh. It's a little bit rough, doesn't it? Hang on, let me just see what I've got. If anything looks strange, we'll have to fix it in a moment, okay? I think, yeah, because that looks kind of weird. We'll have to get rid of that first. We're going to put one on the... We're going to work on the fronts of the buildings first, okay? That's what we'll do. So I'm going to make a... Hold on. Don't, don't need to change it at all there. We just need to make it smaller. So any ones on the front are going to be pretty easy to deal with, basically. Just, just sizing it up, you see, and it's going to be staying within that shape, you see. So, because they're the flat, we're talking about the flat side, aren't we, at the moment? I know we've kind of like messed it up a bit, but it doesn't matter. We're looking at the f the flat side of it, bringing that down. Okay, can merge those as one layer as well, can't we? In a moment, hold on. Uh, can do that now, actually. So, right, merge. We have to merge them onto that layer, though. But okay, that's okay. So this one here, we're going to make duplicates. You must have a spare one. You must always keep a spare one, as I say. Um, mm. So I'm going to make this front. This front one here could be like closer to us. You see that? That could actually be closer to us, couldn't it? We could do that. So should we do that? We could actually do that. Make it even a bit... See, just maybe just slightly slightly bigger or something like that. I've got like that. That's okay. Okay, that's going to be okay. That's going to be good. We make it a little bit bigger just to match it up there. Okay, oh, not tip out, it's not an earthquake, hold on. Okay, it's not an earthquake today, but you could make an earthquake scene if you wanted to, you know. That's the thing. Drag this across here, even. Doesn't look too good, does it? So we're going to bring that down. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, bringing that across. How, oh, is that clipped? It's not even clipped, is it? I need to clip it. We need to remember to clip the thing. Clip the thing. Go to clip okay hold on is that right oh what's going on with that that's very strange God, I've chosen the wrong one haven't I that's why huh 
clip it. No, okay, clipping it in, see, because it starts to go wrong there, up there. See, see, that's right, yeah. Gonna go there. About there, right. Make a duplicate of that. Move that down, just so it goes off the page. Merge that down. So we're doing the front side first, as you see. Oh, not... If we don't want to mess that about. Um... Right, we're going to bring this one. It's the last one for the last couple of ones, actually, for the front. Okay, so we're going to duplicate there. This one is the one I'm working with, the one directly above. Okay, right, we're going to move move that. It's a bit of work, but then all you've got to do is you've got to, like, let, then you've got to just basically move them into position. So I've got this a little bit wrong there, you can see, because um, this artifact, this building should be actually behind this one, you see. But I think for this one, we're just going to have to go with whatever we got here. We'll, just, oh, we'll do it like that. We'll do it like that. That's okay. That works. That works. We'll just do that just about. We've got it on the angle there. You have to work with these carefully, you see. You know, to get them exactly right. Merge them down. Bang. You know, bang. And what we got uh, now. Oh, this one's another one we got to do, isn't it? So that's going to be pretty easy, though. Don't worry. It's a straight on one that we can see further away, so it's even smaller. Bang, just make another duplicate, bring that down. We can erase stuff as well, just cut a bit off of that. It's pretty easy because it's a straight line. Use the selection tool, cut it off. Bam, select, deselect. Okay, good. Merging that down there, there. Merge that down onto there. Now we've got this spare one where we need to make a duplicate of that. And, um,. Oh, in fact, we've got another bit on the front as well. If this video isn't getting boring enough for you. Oh, we made a duplicate of the wrong layer, didn't we, as well? Oh, my neck, lad. Okay, let's make one. Put this one over here. And what I'll do is I'll just make it something totally different. I think just I can drag that across there. I'm going to make it a crazy one. Just do that. Make this like some just some piece of concrete or something. It doesn't really matter what it is. Hold on. <laughs> I am going Belitsu the Shitsu. I'll be with you in a minute. Who the hell is Belitsu the Jit Belitsu the Shitsu? I'm wondering. Just select that area there. It's just making this into like some shape that we can use basically to bring that up. Okay, good. It's a bit weird, doesn't it, to be honest with you? But okay. Just erase certain things and change it anyway. Just select the area, go to protect the alpha, choose the pen. Start painting in there if we want to do that. Don't matter too much. I mean, okay, that's like that then. You can extra another building if you wanted to while you're there. Just, you know what I mean? You could put it, or just put some graffiti on it. Bah, 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 whatever it's going to be. Look, you know. <laughs> just doing that for quickness, right? Merge that down. Okay, now that's there. We've got these sides of the buildings now. And all that, all that needs you to do is basically to just... It's going to just be... You're going to have to put them across and then cut off the bottoms. What the fuck? That's all it's going to be. Uh, the other way of doing it, of course, is you're going to have to, um, as I say, just... Hold on, just cutting that bit off. The other way of doing it is going to be you're going to have to, um, as I say, uh, um, what's the word? Um, just paint them in. We don't want to do that, do we? So, I'm going to move that down, uh, go on this one here, got a duplicate of it going already, so let's move the duplicate in, and we've got to do a few of those, they're pretty fast to do, dragging that in, literally, can, we can bring that transparent if we want, so we can see what we're doing, see as well, so we can see what we're doing as well, so turn that transparent for a minute, the, um, the layer, which is another use of using transparent, another reason you might want to use transparent, so we've got to turn on clipping as well, by the way. Turn on clipping on the layer, so you can see like exactly where you're working. You know, um, I'm gonna try and make the size the right size, obviously. Going in there, so you're matching up the sizes. You know, you've got your windows on the sub. It's a bit of work. In fact, you might say it's more easier to actually just draw them in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just draw one building in. in. By the way, guys, if I do need to stop this video in a moment, I'll have to stop it and come back to you. Okay, I'm really sorry, but we should be okay, though. Hitting okay now, and um, turning up the opacity. And it's not perfect, but you got the right, we got the thing, right? Get down on it. 
shit down on it. Okay, uh, we got a bit of an artifact there as well, haven't we? So if I just merge that down quickly, we have to fix that bit up. Just a bit of painting, that's all it takes. A bit of painting across there and, you know, put a bit of black across there, see, to make it look right again over there, you see? Oh, not like that, okay, hold on. <laughs> and just a bit of disguise, see? Covering that up there. And this bit down the side there, the building, see? And it is pretty cool how you can do this. So, this, I mean, I could do different designs on the buildings if I wanted to, the other sides, you know, but we're just doing it like this just for now. Another couple of duplicates of that. So clipping, move it across, going over here now. Oh, yeah, it's coming on pretty cool. Okay. Uh, again, I've got to go with any kind of size I want to go with this now. Hang on. This one is just it's okay, we're just working with any kind of perspective I can try and get working on this one. That's all we're doing on this one. So that's that. And I'm gonna just copy that in a moment and merge it down. So doing that in a duplicate, bringing that down. Oh. <laughs> so it's better to work with a straighter angled one, you see really, because otherwise you're gonna have to drag it back in and you, you end up messing up the picture really. So dragging that in. If you understand what I'm saying? It's the last. Oh, we've got to still do a couple more, haven't we? Two more. Moving this one over. I'll show you this one and then you'll understand how to do the one on the right if I show you this one first. So, uh, go in there, turning the clipping on, uh, turning the opacity down a bit just so we can see what we're doing for now. Just making sure you get the windows the same size as the ones we already had. And try and get those black lines within the. Um, within the. Um, white building shape we've got there. otherwise you're just going to have to draw them in again aren't you but it doesn't take much work it doesn't take much work at all really really straightforward stuff it really really is and it's good because it all works together in the way that the um horizon and everything should work so you're just getting that right there that looks fine to me in fact it looks so fine to me so fine and dandy can bring that up yeah you see make a duplicate of that layer even and just move it across and we're like basically bloody done with that Make that one a bit smaller. I have to erase areas obviously in a moment to show you what I mean. What I mean like, not what I mean like. Bring another one in, in it like, like I mean. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? Excuse me. Sugar. Sugar candy. Oh, so dandy. Okay, so I'm putting that in. Okay. Got that the angle's right, I haven't got a perspective as well. Oops. Oopsie daisy. It's coming in, you see. It's coming in all right. Coming in all righty then. Coming all righty then. Oh, and I've done this all from my mind, obviously, haven't I? So it's not like perfect. Okay. Get a duplicate of that and move that down. I'm going to have to adjust that. I'm going to merge those down. In a moment, we're going to have to really, really do some work on the just the, the whole angling of everything, basically, because it's not actually in the right position, is it? You know. It's a little bit rough, as I say, as well, but, you know, we're not going to get it perfect. This is like a funny one, but it shows how you... I was basically trying to show you how you can make one building, is what I was trying to show you, like, on the this kind of way, with the angle and everything. We got the idea, though, OK? Got the basic idea. And it looks a bit rough on the angle, they have got that, but you know what? I'm just going to merge it like that. It doesn't really matter, you know? If I use an eraser quickly... Um, if I go there with the... Yeah, let's just do that. I'm going to use an erase. That's the only way I can really do this just quickly enough. Like going over here, going over there. You know, if I go I'll turn the opacity down, I want to see this building because that's what we're looking at, really. And we shouldn't be seeing that. This is behind. The whole thing's behind this building, really. So, you know. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's what it is, like. You know? Going over here, like. Oh shit, man! I was using the wrong goddamn thing. Supposed to be using an, supposed to be using an eraser, man. I was supposed to be using an eraser, damn it. God damn it. Oh man. What the hell is going on here? Okay, that's it. We're getting there now. I'll see you when you get there. When you get there. <laughs> okay, hold on. Going over here. See. Okay, good, good, good. Just trying to rough it out, basically. Just trying. To, it's a real rough one. I've done it really fast, but you get the idea, though, right? You can see one of them transparent. Bring that back up there. 
Um, this one we don't really need to edit that other one on the left there, really, do we? You know, it's what it is. All right, it's a it's really rough. That was like a a monstrosity. I mean, it looks like a it looks like a rough housing estate. <laughs> But you see what I'm saying though, and then from there, I mean if I delete that one, we don't need that backup one anymore. We don't, what the hell is that on the right? we still got one, okay, we delete that. Ah, delete that, select it and delete it. Okay, over there. Boom, deselect, and then what I can do is make a duplicate of this even. I'm not going to save this and keep it, it's just an example, you know. You see what I mean though? Yeah, it looks pretty cool actually, I might just, <laughs> I might just keep it, you know. When I'm coming over here a lot and coming over you see when you can have the idea of like where the shadows might be so this one's further back so we're not gonna have the shadow there I might keep it as a rough one we'll see how we go you know shadow there so the shadows on the side I'm trying to work this out myself uh, okay you need to bring seeing you bring out the 3dness in it if you had more in the background you'd have a real scene going on you know yeah man, I might even just do that. I mean, bring this slightly darker, bring it a slightly lighter actually. Just slightly, you see. Yeah, 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 see. Yeah. I can make some duplicates of this whole thing, because it's one object, don't forget, you see? And that's how you can make you see of a city. A real big city. So that I can put stuff in the background, big small city there. I can just flip it if I wanted to drag it across. Look at that, I mean, it, you know, if you wanted to, I'm saying, just get some different variation. Looks a bit weird, I know, with the perspective, I mean, with the, because uh, the shadows and stuff. But you see what I mean, though? You see what I'm seeing? That's what I'm telling you, guys, see? Make a duplicate of that. <laughs> yeah, see it more like that, and I can just go in, play with that a little bit. See, make some small ones there, or whatever, you see? Oh, shit, what the hell just happened? Shit, man, the hell is going on, yo? I'm getting all these different things going on here. <laughs> but it's working out, though, ain't it? You know, it's working out, though, ain't it? Sure is. Sure is, my porcupine. I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around, yo. I'm just messing around. We can do all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. You know mess around and make yourself a whole city got the keys to the city so what we got this is the back part so you can make that like fainter or whatever you see uh, this part you can make uh, let me see make the front ones these are the front ones right so merge that they've got like three layers going here can bring this one darker I don't really want to do that because I want to keep these separate you know so I'm gonna because I'm gonna save one in a moment um, hmm. what I'll do is I'll just select uh, select. Let me to turn these off for a moment. Just, I want to just keep one as a backup. I want to save this. Okay, so select from opacity, edit, copy, start a new one up, a new file. Just quickly, so I got that edit, paste, and I'm gonna make use that later on and save that in a moment. Okay, bam. I'm gonna merge the, bring that the visibility back, merge them down. I shouldn't have the opacity down. I should just bring up the the brightness a bit on that. That's what I should do. The um, you know the faintness and stuff. So it brings in a lot of detail. You see. Bringing the front ones darker. See, Be like that. So you get you get <laughs> you get it going. Now the light, as I say, the light is um, a little bit you know messed up and that light. You know the the shadows because we kind of got it a bit wrong. But you see though how we're getting a lot of detail, right? And this is how I'm working with stir. You know. Okay, so bringing that up a little bit there, you know. I'm gonna bring a sky in and I'm gonna make a little quick sky. Uh, a bit more contrast on this, I think. Hold on. A little bit, not too, I don't want too much. See, it looks cool, but I don't want to have too much contrast. I want to keep it simple, you know. Give it a slight blur, very slight blur. blur. You know. There's so many ways you can make buildings stuff. I could plant, I could put plants, <laughs> I could put trees on here and stuff fix up the perspective a little bit in certain areas and stuff as well just one image it is damn it it's too late but 
but do you know what I mean? I could do like certain things to fix it up, put like be a course book. So I could zoom in and make yourself really in the city, you know, in the city. That's what I'm talking about. I don't want to go too much over the top on this, mess it up kind of thing. Merge them down, play with the blurb a little bit. When you bring the sky in, it just comes together with a bit of colour and stuff, you see what I mean? Put a bit of fog behind that, even if you wanted to, like a bit of dust, you know, whatever. Which it gives it that distance, you see that distance there? Mm. What I'm talking about. <laughs> so what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go in with. Uh, I'm gonna go in here, mate. I'm gonna go in here with uh, some paint splats. That'll do it. Go in here with some paint splats. Yeah. Looks like there's no hate that. I'm gonna go in there with some. Uh, see, like mark, making some marks, and that'll help us for some clouds in a moment. You'll see. I just merge that down. Uh, put that on to make it give it a blur. You see, and then play with the contrast or whatever and that'll bring it into some more epicness you'll see in a moment I'll show you how to bring that it just gives it a bit more like life I'm just saying a bit more so to the background you know and then yeah I think we can basically just merge it let me just merge the whole thing down merge all bang merges it all make a duplicate of this uh, then again play with the uh, the levels and stuff, bring that down or play around with the levels. Okay, you see what we're getting? Oh my god, see? Oh, it's just epicness. You can get in this. If you, was, if you had colors in here and stuff, it would be like even playing, it would, it would affect that as well. You know, learn. You see how it's giving more detail. Now, I go in here, right? You go, you go in and you just go to like basics, go to airbrush, slow kind of opacity, eraser version. And then just like erase certain areas and stuff to bring through that original one you had, but it just keeps some of the detail. You know, I can put some colours on top on top as well as I say. And this is just fucking awesome. <laughs> no, I like the way you can do this. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying. Making another layer on top. I just merged those down by the way. Now I'm making another layer on top. And I'm going to choose the same colours. I'm choosing the gradient, red and yellow. Choose the gradient. Just choosing two colours there. Either way, you can up or down or down and up. I think uh, this way is the way to go. Choose another layer here. So multiply, okay. Then bring it slightly down on opacity. Then bring, then merge that down. Then play with the colour on that. Go to the uh, sorry, what is that? Filters, okay. Hue and then saturation. Bring the saturation up. Then I usually like to make another layer on top and make another one. It could still be another kind of shade of yellow and blue or green or something. It just gives it like random stuff. You get a purple or a, a, you know, whatever you want to have. Do that though, a bit of blue on top of it. It just gives it like another level of realness, like more colours in there. Uh, go to multiply again. You can have it on another one if you wanted to. You could have like, uh, you don't have to have such a dark scene. You can have a brighter scene, but different things, different times of day. But I don't, just bring it lower you could have it on another you can have another thing like overlay or whatever color or another thing it's up to you what you're gonna have i'm just having what i want here you know i'm gonna choose um that's a pretty cool one that's a pretty cool one if i played with that and then turn up and played with the contrast that might be pretty cool actually i wanted to go for multiply just straight up it just makes it epic but i'm gonna try a screen and you see what i get yeah okay they're pretty cool. They merge that down, go with color, play with the saturation. So you bring it up, might bring out some of the blues. You say, I want to get that blue. Move it across a bit if you need to. Move it, try and find what you think will suit you better. Kind of lost some of that blue, didn't we? But it's okay. I think we kind of lost some of the effect, but it's okay. You can edit and undo while we're here, you know. Bring that in. That's pretty cool now, I must say. Playing with that. <laughs> I'm going to make another layer on top and go with that blue again and try multiply after all. You know what I mean? Look at that, my goodness. Make another one as well, blue on that side. Damn it. 
you know, go to this one. Ooh, wrong. I choose luminosity color. Okay. I want to get some blue in there. What I'm trying to do as well. See, where's that? Yeah, merge that. Then maybe color. We're getting so anyway. We got we got a good, pretty detailed scene there, right? We get a pretty detailed scene. I'll say that. I don't want to mess around too much because the contrast. You can see what's happening when we put so much contrast in. It just goes uh, out of control a bit, you know. And you might want to even bring the colours down a bit as well. It depends on the scene, you know, like that. See. But um, yeah, it's working pretty well, though. You know, colour time. You can just try whatever you want to try. You know. Wow, look at that! Man. Look at. I don't want to mess it up, so be careful. I'll post these on my Facebook page anyway, just to have them there, uh, seen, you know. You gotta make sure that it looks as real as like you can get it, you know, whatever. Other things you can do, by the way, are like you can go in with a color, like a choose like a spray, an airbrush, which we've got already, on another layer. Go to hard light. I do that sometimes. I do that in my paintings as well. Choose a color, like select a color from the canvas anywhere by holding down Alt and then clicking. I think it's different in cr Critter. You hold another button. I think it's Control or something. You go in there, like where the source of light is. Like in this one, we can't really see much light. I'm not making it a bit like of a foggy kind of thing instead then maybe like you see there's not much light because the light's through the clouds up above you know and it's not really what it is is it so I'm just choosing some colours on there what we've got a bit of a fog or whatever we've got here you know I mean, it's not really working that like, too well as I say but um I can just go on another layer we can just have like a normal if you don't want to have um light then you can just like choose a normal one You know, but yeah, I'm just trying to make that give it a bit of a glow on there, you know, and stuff like that where the light is. But these are in the shadow anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm just saying that's how you get some light sometimes if you wanted to have some light, but it's not really working with this picture, I feel. So I'm gonna like kind of bring that down, but it's like showing through, you know, a little bit. Well, hold on, hold on, bring that down a little bit. It's got to see if it works or not, you know, for you. A bit of it works, kind of thing. And try. For, oh, excuse me. What happened there? Bang. And boom. Try flipping it if you want to see what it looks like. Flipping it, the view. Here, sorry. See what that looks like if you wanted to check that. Let me check there. You know. <laughs> play around with the. Play around with all the colours and stuff. See what you want to get. You know. And when you're happy, you just save it out. You know what I mean? Save that one now because I'm going over the top anyway. And I'm going overboard. Save it. We just zoom in. You have a little look at it. And zoom in, you know. <laughs> save that one there. But you know, just save it as that. Oh, uh, in fact, I've got to. Uh, I've got to save my rough one. I've got, haven't I? As well. Shit, I shouldn't have saved that. I've just saved over my bloody thing there. That's alright. Doesn't matter. Still fix that anyway. Okay, bang. Saving it as an image. Making another layer. Bang. Just saving that as a rough grey one. I'm gonna stop this video in a minute, okay guys. So I'm just gonna come back later on. But there's the there's the building I made and we can use this as I say uh, for more pictures. So just to check this one again. There it is, okay. And there's another one we did earlier. And then there's that, as I say. Okay, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys.